Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I'll be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. I really like this diagram because I think it does a fantastic job at summarizing the key physiology and anatomy of the nephron. Remember, the nephron is a microscopic unit within the kidney, and we call it the functional unit of the kidney because it's the part of the kidney that does all the work. So there's a bunch of mini, tiny little filters inside the entire kidney that are all doing the work of the kidney. Okay? And before we dive into the functions of this nephron, let's talk about the key anatomical features in this diagram. First of all, we have the afferent arteriole and the efferent arteriole. The afferent arteriole carries blood to the nephron. The efferent arteriole carries blood away from the nephron. And this capillary bed in between the afferent and the efferent arteriole is called the glomerular capillaries, also known as the glomerulus. And the glomerulus filters blood into what's called Bowman's capsule which is the entrance to the nephron, okay? Last of all, the efferent arteriole enters into a second capillary bed called the paratubular capillaries, which then empties the blood into the renal vein. And I think that's good enough for now in terms of the anatomy. And I think this is about half the anatomy you really need to know for the MCAT. As long as you know the key features of the nephron, you're really gonna do pretty well on the MCAT when it tests you on the, the kidneys. Now let's talk about the functions. There are four key functions being performed by this nephron. One filtration, two reabsorption, three secretion, and four excretion. Filtration is the process that occurs as the blood empties from the glomerulus into Bowman's capsule. Think about it like a coffee filter. You put coffee into your coffee filter, and then you filter hot water through that, right? And the hot water kind of picks up the little granules of you know, coffee mix that need to go into the coffee, and it leaves behind all that gunk that you don't want to go in your coffee, right? The glomerulus is doing the exact same thing. The things that we want to stay in your blood, it'll keep them in your blood. But the things that we want to get out of your blood and excrete it out of your body because they're waste products, they're going to filter through, okay? So that's the basic premise of what this filtration process is all about. But you need to know something about the nephron, and that's that this filtration process is not perfect. Thankfully, we have a backup system. And that backup system is called reabsorption and secretion. If there is something that got into the nephron that we actually wanted to keep in the body, we can reabsorb that back into the bloodstream by going from the nephron back into the paratubular capillaries. Also, if there's something that didn't get filtered out of the blood that we wanted to filter out, there's a second chance to get rid of it. And that's the secretion process, right? We can send that substance directly from the paratubular capillaries and put it straight into the nephron. Finally, once we've done all the filtering we need to, we're just gonna excrete everything else that's left over in the nephron. And as you may have guessed, that arrow down at the bottom where it says urinary excretion, we're gonna send that down to the bladder and then out of our body to get rid of it for good. And I really think that if you really understand this diagram, then you're gonna be fantastic on about half of the MCAT problems you're gonna see from the AAMC. I really think if you understand the basics of the kidney, you're going to do great. Let's take a second look at the question stem. Which of the following is the main site of filtration? We talked about how the main site of filtration is from the glomerulus into Bowman's capsule. Therefore, the glomerulus is going to be the primary site of filtration. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.